The beauty of Airtable is that it actually makes it easy to work with your data. This is very different from something like Google Sheets or Excel, which is all about collecting a bunch of data and then running analysis or creating reports. Airtable lets you basically build little apps with your data. So today, let's talk about some of the features that make it really easy to work with your data. And those three features are filters, sorts, and groups. So let's get right into filters. A filter lets you, as you might have guessed, filter out the data that you don't want to see. Or put another way, it lets you decide what data do I want to look at in my spreadsheet at this given time. Now note, filters don't actually remove or add any data. It is just a view. It's just showing you or not showing you whatever it is you want. So to work with filters is pretty straightforward. And to illustrate that, let's talk about an example here in our example CRM. Imagine you're looking at this list of contacts where a salesperson's looking at this and they want to identify just the customers they should reach out to first. And so maybe they might want to say, let's just look at companies or customers that work at companies that are over a thousand people, right? We don't want to worry about these small companies. Let's just talk to the big ones. And in my example here, we only have nine records. You can imagine having 90,000, um, but you'll want to filter down the data for just what you want. Luckily, we have a company size field. This tells us how big uh, the company is that these companies, that these contacts work for. And so to filter this down, we can literally click on filter and add a condition. Now, this is the condition that will basically be performed by Airtable to decide what data should be shown. And really all we're going to do is say where company size is greater than a thousand and apply and continue. And there we go. We now have this filtered by company size. It shows us just the records where company size is greater than a thousand. Pretty straightforward. Now, this can get as complicated as you want. If you go back into filter, we can add multiple filters. So maybe where company size is greater than a thousand and name uh, contains Brian and apply that. And now only one record will be shown. And we can even group these. So we can create a condition group here where all of these are true um, or something else is true, right? We can add a condition here where only show where company size is over a thousand and the name is, it contains Brian or the name contains Patrick, right? And if we apply that, all of a sudden we get extra people <laughs> involved in this, in this view, right? So, this is how you use filters. Again, you'll want to just play with this, get a hang of it yourself, but it's really, really straightforward. Now let's introduce sorts. So sorts, again, another really, really easy feature from Airtable is basically just telling Airtable, what is the order that I want to sort these records? Uh, so right now it's just in a random order between Sarah, Brian, and Patrick. Again, let's just say we wanted to order it by company size with the biggest company listed first. All we have to do is click on sort, and then pick the field we want to sort on. So let's do company size and the direction we want to sort on. Let's start with the biggest ones first. And there we go. Airtable instantly moves the right records to the top. So that's sort. And again, we can add multiple sorts and make this as complicated as we want. We can combine, let's say company size with alphabetical order and then choose which we care about first. So maybe we care more about the alphabet than the company size or vice versa. Um, but again, another example of this can be as simple or complicated as you'd like. Finally, let's talk about groups. Groups are an awesome way to slice and dice your data. And to illustrate this, I'm going to get rid of these filters just to make this really clear here. And same with the sorts. But again, the goal with all of these features is just to make it really easy to work with your data. And so with groups, what we're going to do here, if you click on group, is tell Airtable which field we want to group this data by. And it does a really nice job actually of pulling up some that we might want to group by automatically. So we can say status here as an example. And what you'll notice is that Airtable has grouped them by status instantly. So all of the records that had an uncontacted status get put together. Same with contract sent and contract or closed one. And again, none of the data is actually changing, right? This is all the same exact data 
but it turns it into something operational. You can work off the sheet. You can use this as your CRM because of these nice features. And once again, you can combine things. We can have a group that is also filtered and also sorted by whatever we like. These are these three things basically make it really, really simple to work with your data in full. You now know the key ways to work with your data in Airtable, filters, sorts, and groups. Go off and make it happen. And let's see what you can build. See you next time.